Hello, it is Tuesday, January 28th, 2020, and time for the answer to last Tuesday's Always Keep Fightings, guess the supernatural scene. The boys were pretty young here where they just got off foxed in what supernatural episode? Here's Cheryl to show us a magic trick. Pick a card. Can I show the audience? Mm -hmm. Did you see that? <laughs> okay. Yep. Slide it back in. Slide it back in. Okay, there you go. Turn around. I'm turning around. <laughs> One of these is your cards. <laughs> okay. Hold it like this. Not too tight or too loose. Like that? Mm-hmm. A bit more. There. Okay. Is that your card? Yes, it is. Cheryl, everybody. Bow. <laughs> Can you bow? Huh? Bow for the camera. I'm not a boy. You can curtsy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> Please enjoy this magical clip from Season 4, Episode 12, Chris Angel is a Deuce Bag. Up against the wall! Oh my God, who are you? What are you Now! We know what you've been up to. You've been working some real bad mojo to jumpstart your act. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we know you put a spell on those tarot cards. Messing with real magic? Real magic? There's no such thing as real magic. Oh, is that so? Yeah, believe me, I've been around this stuff my whole life. It's all just, it's, it's illusions, it's tricks, it's, it's all fake. Jeb Dexter strung up, was that just an illusion? What? Something happened to Jeb? He was found hanged in his room. Right after you slipped the noose last night. I don't know what you're talking about. Please. Just let me go. So this is not right. You said there would have been some badass hoodoo at us by now. What do you want to do? All right. So if it's not him, who is it? Even if Jay's not working the magic, he's still getting the reward. His shows are selling out. All right. So then whoever it is, they're obviously in Jay's corner. All right, so we got Vernon and Charlie on the list. Anyone else? Uh, we could always ask him. <laughs> Guess we should have seen that one coming. Come on. He couldn't have gotten that far. Managed. I mean, he really is good. Well, he found a back door. That's them. Those are the two nut jobs that just broke into my room. Bruce! Hands where I can see him. I have a treat for you. Lynn is about to tell us about a challenge we had come up with for you. Hi, this is kind of a special episode because it's not guess the episode, it's guess who wrote the chapter in Family Don't End With Blood, which is the uh, book that the actors and the fans of Supernatural wrote about what the show has meant to them. So I'm going to read an excerpt from a chapter and it's your job to guess who wrote this chapter. Okay, 
My first day on set was thrilling and terrifying. I'd only been doing TV for about six months prior to my first episode. Most of my acting training and experience is in theater and comedy, so I was very well behaved on set. I didn't want to screw it up, and when people said things like, I need you to hit your original marks, or first team coming in, I had no clue what they were saying. I would ask once and remember forever. I was in no position to waste the professional's time. The first person I met was Jensen. He was everything I imagined he would be. Funny, gentlemanly, and handsome as all hell. When I met Jared, the first thing I thought was, holy shit, he's tall. The second thing I thought was, how does anyone get any work done with these two in the room? As we dove into first team rehearsal for the now infamous mm, scene, I'm not gonna tell you because it would be too much of a giveaway, they called action and I dug in like my life depended on it. When they yelled cut, the crew burst out laughing and the boys looked at me saying, wow, you really went for it. I thought I was in trouble and had made a big mistake, but it was actually the opposite. Like I said, I don't mess around. Filming the last day of that episode was magical with the boys. We laughed more than I'd laughed in a long time. And the boys at one point looked at me and said, we're stealing you away to LA to make you famous. What more can an actor ask for? The magic that has come into my life because of this beautiful, simple, and yet complex character is hard to describe in just a handful of words. One afternoon in an audition has completely changed my life forever. Who do you think wrote that chapter? Bye everyone, I'm Lindsay Burness, the editor of Family Don't End With Blood. Have a great day. Thank you, Lynn, for participating and Alana King for the camera work. I will be back in a week with the answer. So get those actor guesses put on here, Twitter, and on Facebook. Feel free to follow me and subscribe here too. Look for our special hashtag SBN Who Wrote It. And of course, AKF guests SBN Scene for the hashtag for the regular series. Bye.